Hello and thanks for joining us. I'm Bob Cohn, Product Specialist for Spectrologic, and today we're going to take a look at Spectrologic's Blue Scale Encryption powered by Blue Scale 10. It'll take about 10 minutes. I've got to tell you, we've been doing this for a couple of years, and the need to educate users on the necessity of a security plan for electronic data has diminished greatly during that time. Monthly, sometimes even weekly, headlines have driven this point home. Breach of data has put consumers and companies at risk, cost millions of dollars, and led to state, federal, and industry regulation mandating greater security, with encryption of data at the top of the list. According to a study done by John Fontana of Network World, the average data breach will cost a company around $5 million. Industry analysts put the cost somewhere between $90 and $120 per contact lost. Roughly 26% of these breaches were due to lost or stolen backup tapes. Yet, as staggering as that sounds, only 35% of companies today are using encryption. Analysts suggest that 100% of companies should be encrypting at least some portion of their data. Companies should simply demand it. So why aren't they? The answer lies in two simple factors, cost and complexity. Spectrologic has solved both of these problems. It's not uncommon to see encryption solutions priced from the tens of thousands to hundreds of thousands of dollars. Addressing cost was easy for Spectra. With BlueScale 10, we built encryption and encryption key management into our T-Series tape libraries, and we offer it for free. Complexity was another challenge altogether. Why do other solutions cost so much? It's because of their complexity. One is feeding off of the other. Most solutions require multiple hardware appliance boxes be integrated into your network, each carrying its own support agreement and user interface. It suggested these solutions be duplicated in clusters for failover and separate ID reading devices be installed for passcodes. Quite often, separate servers are needed to run the applications which run the hardware. The cost of acquisition is nothing compared to the time, cost, and difficulty of managing this level of complexity. Introducing BlueScale 10, Encryption and Key Management. As mentioned earlier, the solution is built into our T-Series library. We offer a complete encryption solution using our own technology or allow you to utilize LTO4 drive encryption by providing BlueScale key creation and management software. While the LTO4 drive encryption is a great development, many people don't realize that it can't be utilized without key management software. Spectralogic is the only company today which offers that software, and again, it's free of charge in our T-Series libraries. The T50, the T120, and the T950. Our tagline for this solution is Blue Scale Effortless Encryption, but that's more than a tagline, it's a promise. Four simple steps do it all. Let's take a look at just how simple the process is. And while we explore the simplicity of blue scale encryption, please do not confuse simplicity with reduced security. Blue scale offers the same AES 256 bit encryption, which has been accepted and put into use by the US federal government to protect top secret information. Blue scale encryption key management meets the rigorous security standards of cryptographers by ensuring keys are never stored in plain text, offering multiple levels of user authentication, quorum-based key management, and options to export keys in a variety of methods that meet the needs of the most secure environments today. It is simply the most secure solution available in encryption standards. It doesn't get any better than this. Let's take a look. Here we're looking at the general status screen within BlueScale that allows you to manage all aspects of your tape library. There's no secondary interface you have to learn to implement encryption. Encryption functionality is under the security bar on the left. As I open that menu, I see the encryption icon, a small lock, on the bottom of the security options. By selecting this icon, I've entered my encryption utility. I mentioned earlier that we support encryption and key management through our own hardware or through the encryption chip on the LTO4 tape drive. The screens you're seeing now won't change regardless of which approach you choose. This is truly a versatile solution. Now let's go through each of these four simple steps. Step one, here we're looking at the main encryption screen under blue scale encryption. The first step in setting up encryption is to create an encryption user. We'll select the configure button in order to do this. By selecting the checkbox, enable secure initialization, we allow a new encryption user to be created. All you have to do is enter the password you want to use to identify the encryption user and then retype the password to make sure it was entered correctly. Hit the OK button and you're done. 
Now that we've created an encryption user, we'll be asked to log on as the encryption user. The encryption user can perform seven functions. He or she can view monikers. Those are the names we assign to the encryption keys. More on that in a minute. Create or delete encryption keys. Import or export encryption keys. And enable or disable encryption. Once again, we come to our main encryption screen. We've already created an encryption user under the configuration button. So this time we're going to add a key to be used for encryption. We could also use this screen to import an encryption key that's been created previously. We'll select Add Key here, and the next screen we'll see asks us to assign a moniker for the new key. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the encryption user is able to view and manage monikers. The moniker is a nickname for the encryption key itself. Not even the encryption user can see the actual encryption key. That key is always encrypted. This is very important for security reasons. Assigning a moniker also allows us a way to manage encryption. If we assign a moniker that reflects the backup jobs being encrypted, it helps to keep track of which keys are used for encrypting backups, and more importantly, encryption restorations. Here we'll assign the name Finance Key Q3 2007. If I want to restore an encryption file from my financial department backed up in Q3 of 07, it's pretty obvious which key or moniker to use for the decryption. Of course, you don't have to do that because the moniker is going to be written to the tape it's encrypting. If I load a tape to restore, the key needed to decrypt the tape will be called for. So there's no need to manually track an association between the keys and the data tapes. Keep in mind, it's not the key we're writing to the tape. It's just the name of the key. We never write the actual key onto the data tape. That would be a breach in best practices. Step three. Now that we've created a key, BlueScale Encryption is going to give us an opportunity to export the key for safekeeping. Keep in mind, if you lose the key, you've lost the encrypted data. No key, no restoration. So even before you use this key, it's good to export it to a USB memory stick and then send it off site. Again, the key you're exporting is being exported in an encrypted format, so no one can see what the key is. Exporting the key doesn't delete it from your library. The key is still in the library and ready to be used for decryption if need be. You may want to delete the key from the library at some point, and that option could be carried out from this screen as well. Let's select Export, and we'll see the following screen. We're able to export the encrypted key to a file or to a USB memory stick attached to the library. We'll check the option we want to use and hit the Next button to carry out the command. We won't actually export the key in this demonstration. Step 4. Now that we've created an encryption user and a key to be used, we want to enable a partition within the library that will be used for encrypted data. This is the final step. You could view the entire library as one partition, which would encrypt everything you back up to the library. Most users don't need to encrypt all of their data. BlueScale allows you to easily create partitions within your library specifically for encrypted data, again making this a very simple solution to manage. Creating and editing partitions under BlueScale takes no more than a couple of minutes. You'll notice on the left-hand column, we're now under the Configuration heading, and I've selected Partitions. This allows me to select a partition and check the box titled Enable Encryption. BlueScale shows me right below this checkbox that the key I've just created will be used to perform the encryption. That's it! You'll run your backups as normal. Any backups directed to the selected encryption partition will be encrypted by BlueScale 10. Again, the actual encryption can be done via the Spectra library itself or an encryption-enabled LTO4 drives. That portion is transparent to the user. Now that's effortless encryption. And retrieving your data is just as simple. It's no different than restoring clear text data in most cases. If the desired tape and encryption key are in the library, the user simply uses the backup package to restore the file. The decryption of the data is done transparently to the user. And close to 98% of all retrievals are single file retrievals from the prior week. So this is going to cover you in most cases. Now, if the tape is not in the library, the user retrieves the tape per the backup software instruction as always. Again, nothing changes. If the encryption key is no longer in the library, the user goes to the Add Import Encryption screen we saw earlier and imports the key, either from a file or USB memory stick, depending on your method of exporting the key originally. And what's really amazing is that BlueScale allows you to decrypt data 
even if you no longer use the SpectraLogic solution. Spectra's Endura decryption utility is an application that runs on any Linux box. If 20 years down the road you're using another type of library or encryption, all you have to do is load the encrypted tape and encryption key onto the Linux system along with the Endura decryption utility and the tape will be decrypted. It's that simple. If I hadn't had to explain each step as I did it, this would have taken under two minutes. SpectraLogic's BlueScale Effortless Encryption is the solution for encrypting all of your removable media. Its AES 256-bit power will assure you're covered under the mountain of existing and evolving regulations which require the encryption of media. By removing the cost and complexity from encryption, SpectraLogic has created the most awarded encryption solution on the market today. There is no reason left for not protecting your data, your customers, and your company. Thanks for joining me today. If you have any questions on encryption, please don't hesitate to contact us. Safe computing is what it's all about.